Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With great marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. My calendars are here two days early, which is such a game changer because I thought they were gonna come in on Friday. So now I have two more days to prep for the shop update. So, so grateful to UPS <laughs> for delivering them two days early. But I finally get to show you guys the calendars. Look how beautiful. As you can see, they're quite large. They're 11 by 17. They come with this super cool like wire thing. So all you have to do is like put a nail or a thumbtack or something. You can hook this right up. So I, th I thought that was a nice feature. It's wire bound thing. This is the cover. And then here is the first page. Um, by the time this video comes out, I'm sure I'll probably have a lot left. Um, so yeah, if you want a little calendar for 2023, that's 100% Reason Draft printed um, on really beautiful paper. It comes with a nice cardboard backing as well for structure. I would highly recommend my calendar. And I'm just, oh, I'm so, so happy. I feel like it came out so nice. Like look at this nice big spread. The spaces are all quite large. So you will be able to write all of the dates and things that are important to you. The printing is just so vibrant and fun. Um, that's my spot. That's my spot. He said, and? Oh my goodness. POV. Not the nail, Cosmo. Cosmo. He's so cute. Okay, Cosmo, this is my chair. Hello, good morning. It's shop update day. Okay, so right now is 10.30, Sunday. Yesterday I had like the secret opening for my patrons. All my patrons got 24 hours of early access for the update. Oh my God. My patrons really showed up for this update. I'm still kind of in shock with how many orders my patrons placed. Like I think of, as of right now, my patrons placed 85 orders, um, which I have never gotten through like an early access update. It's really, really floored by the amount of support from my patrons. So if you are a patron, thank you so much. I'm so excited about these calendars and I'm so happy that like other people are also excited about them. Also my patrons bought out almost all of these ceramic pieces, except for like a couple onigiri sculptures and like one little plate. So next time around, I'm definitely going to have to like reserve some um, ceramics. Like I'll, I'll like take the batch and kind of take some out just so my patrons don't buy them all out. I did not expect them to, which is why I didn't really think of this. Um, but in the future, I will definitely do that. So it's just like a little bit more fair. Um, but of course, like because my patrons are the ones who like support me and help me live um, when my shop's not closed, I'm more than happy to do early access and to kind of give them this perk. Right now, um, since I have like an hour and a half before the shop is gonna open, I'm gonna clean a bit before the update and I'll see you when the shop opens. So during Chris's like makeover video, this was supposed to be
can tell, but I use this like really cool textured brush and I feel like, like a gouache brush and I feel like you can really see it in the Rizzo. Um, I don't know, I think it's so cool. Enjoying the breeze and the smells from outside. Hello, so right now it's 11.57. I'm gonna open the shop in a few minutes. Um, children yelling outside, beautiful Sunday. <laughs> um, I have a draft of um, this post I'm gonna make, just like a little one to remind people that the shop is open. Um, just because not everyone watches Instagram stories, like out of my whole audience, I'll get like 2000 people watch it, but I have a lot more followers and I, I hope that more people watch the posts. Um, so I'm gonna be posting this. The thing about like Instagram marketing is tricky. Like I used to just post like my shop opening post um, all at once when the shop went live with like all of the pictures and everything. Um, but now I kind of like doing it a little bit beforehand because it's nice for people to like um, get to see what the shop is gonna have before it goes live rather than like getting all the information when the shop is opening. I just feel like it's kind of a bit too chaotic. It's 11.59 so I think I'm just gonna do it. Okay, remove password. Okay, I think it's open for everyone. Let's see if it worked. Yep, okay, it's live. Ah! I always love looking at the live view and seeing how many people are coming on. Look at all the little bats. Wow, shout out Seattle. <laughs> okay, shop's live. I posted this on Instagram. I should probably put this on my story too. I thought about like getting a little head start in packing um, just cause currently I already have 127 orders. So that's gonna be a lot to pack. Hopefully it's not that bad because most people are just coming in to like grab a calendar or and a few stickers and heading out. Well, heading out as if it's like a real store. <laughs> and I will see you back here tomorrow morning, bright and early to pack all of these orders. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. Before we get to the whole packing montage, we need to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Um, thank you so much Squarespace for being such a longtime supporter of this channel. You guys already know by now, Squarespace can help you build a really, really wonderful website and also run your online business. Um, Squarespace has been my portfolio website of choice for years and years now. They have beautiful templates um, to choose from and also their online design tools are just really intuitive and it just makes the whole experience of building a website very, very nice and easy. It's great to have your own website that stands apart from social media platforms um, and I cannot recommend Squarespace enough. So yeah, if you would like to try it out, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan Wang for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you so much Squarespace and let's get back to the video. Guess what's for breakfast? Also going to record the audio newsletter for patreon because if you didn't know i do like a little bit so we got this little christmas tree it's so cute but the cats have been knocking down all the presents and the ornaments and when i woke up this morning this little star was on the ground thanks robert it was you i mean he's the one who jumped up there last night i definitely think it's him So I'm pretty sure in previous videos or somewhere I have previously said 
oh, 250 is way too much and I'll have so many left over, wrong, incorrect. Um, I sold out of it all of my calendars. <laughs> um, and I later on the video, you're gonna hear me talk about how I do a restock. I did a limited pre-order restock, which sold way better than I even expected. So basically these calendars were a huge hit um, and I'm so, so happy. So thank you to everyone who bought a calendar, who bought a pre-order calendar. Um, I still haven't gotten the pre-orders yet. So just hold on tight. And is that, that's not the right expression. What is it? Hold tight? I don't know. Just be patient, thank you for waiting. Um, and they will be there before you know it. Um, I think they're gonna come here next week at some point and I'll pack those up and ship them out to people. But yeah, I, I'm so pleased with how this calendar launch did. I've never had a product so well received before. And I just wanna thank you all for supporting me and for loving the calendars as much as I did. Genuinely, when they arrived here, I was like, wow, these are so cute and I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> um, and yeah, I thought about doing another restock because basically I did 250 originally, those sold out by literally the second day. Um, so on this day that you are watching me pack these, I um, emailed my printers, Resolve Studio, who are absolutely wonderful. A uh, major shout out to them for making this calendar possible in the first place. Um, I emailed them saying like, hey, could we do another reprint of 150? And I put that up and um, I think by the time I close my store, I will only have 30 extra calendars just like on deck. So when my store opens again, which will probably be in a couple weeks, it might be end of December, might be beginning of January, I will probably have around 30 to 25 calendars up for grabs, which I know is not a lot. Um, but yeah, I thought about asking to do another reprint, but I'm at this point where, wow, packing up these calendars was very tiring. Each calendar is like with the package and the mailer is about a pound and carrying them to the post office is just a lot. And I'm quite tired and I wanna use the rest of the year to rest. So even though I could do another reprint, um, I'm sure Resolve wouldn't be like mad about me asking for another reprint. I feel like personally, I, I just need to not do another one <laughs> just so I can rest. Cause yeah, I, I apologize to people who still want one. Maybe in a month or two, I'll do another one. But as of right now, I don't want to push myself to just like keep on ordering more and more and more because honestly, shop updates are so chaotic and really tiring. And honestly, like I haven't made art in like a month or something. And something I want to continue um, working on into the new year is just integrate art making back into my job again. I feel like art making is like 10% of what I do and I really just make, miss creating and improving. Um, so yeah, that's my voice. Hello, it's now 2.30. I've been packing since like 9.45ish. I took a bit of a lunch break, got back to packing and then I lie down for a while um, because I'm definitely losing steam. I packed a lot though. Like look, this, look at this, this is all I packed. See that stack on the ground there? I'm currently eating these guys, these little um, koala snack cookies. I feel like a lot of you probably know what these are. Just thought I'd check in, tell you I'm eating these. <laughs> I'm really just procrastinating. <laughs> I don't want to keep packing. When you have the same kind of order to pack, like it's the same mail or it's the same things going in, it's really easy to pack them in bulk. Um, I think maybe tomorrow I'll try packing up some of the ceramics and see how that goes. But as I'm now packing up all these is fine. Um, I put a little interest poll up because I noticed that my calendar sold out pretty quickly and normally my things don't sell out that fast. So I think like, Basically what I did is I underestimated um, the quantity that I should have bought. Having things sell out immediately is obviously really nice because I don't have any product left, but I feel like I didn't really assess the demand for it as correctly as I could have. I mean, obviously it's not my fault, I didn't know. Um, but yeah, I think I was like off, my numbers were off a, a bit and that's just like business stuff that is really hard to predict sometimes. And so I put a poll on Instagram asking like, okay, if you would actually buy one, just like vote this option. And so far 60 people have voted yes. So I feel like I might do a restock about a, of about a hundred. Those are all my updates for now. Also this week, I think I might go to the ceramic studio. Um, this is the last week 
we have for glazing. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna go and pick up some pieces. Robert's gonna put his HBO password onto my iMac so I can watch White Lotus. Just hope people don't forget about me, you know? Yeah. Don't open up. Save, yeah. save, no, don't it never! <laughs> That's the reason I couldn't log in, because I was looking in my saved passwords. <laughs> Why don't you trust me? You're so annoying. Wait, should I start from season one? Or should I just watch season two? I made this announcement gif. Look at this. Today's day two of packing. And I reached out to Resolve yesterday to ask if they could do a reprint for me. And they said yes this morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to update my website and then just like announce on Instagram and maybe YouTube um, that I'm doing my restock. It's going to be, I think, a limited pre-order. Um, I don't know if people do that, but that's what I'm gonna call it because I'm going to list them up um, and let people buy them because I feel like people kind of want to get their orders in right now. And if I do it when they come in, I don't know if there's going to be like that same momentum. You can go on my website and purchase it, but they won't be shipped out until they arrive to me, probably like in a few weeks. Um, because the holiday season's coming up, I'm going to be traveling as well. So I probably won't ship them until like mid-January. Yes? Oh, Rover, you're so sweet. You're so sweet, Mr. Rover. He's so sweet. Are you making biscuits? You're making biscuits in my lap? Hmm? My mom has to work, so I don't know how long I can be here for. Okay, so I just set up the pre-order. Looks like this. Can you see that? Pre-order, and I let everyone know, like, the stipulations. Peace. All right, I made the reel. It was painful, I will admit. Uh, it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be, but yeah, now I'm going to post it on the gram. Find these so they could be usable and you can write and plan your life in. Rizugar printing is super cool because it's environmentally friendly. You can get all these beautiful- I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> It's 11.30 already. Um, I spent like an hour and a half <laughs> working on that reel, which I didn't expect it to take that long, um, but it is what it is. And yeah, now I get to finally start packing. I'm glad I made the reel, but I forget just like how time consuming marketing can be. And I don't know if this video imparts any kind of context on like what it's like being a like internet artist. It's like making art is like 10% <laughs> the actual job. Uh, I feel bad about the thank you cards, man, but it is it is what it is. I feel like with every update, there's always something that goes wrong or something that I could just do better next time. So I feel like next time I'm just gonna try to do my best to, I don't know, be prepared. But then again, it's I don't know. I feel like there's only so much preparing I can do because um, there's always going to be something that I can't foresee um, for example like the orders like I think what, what what the problem really was was I underestimated the amount of orders I would get and as a result I didn't have enough mailers I didn't order enough like plastic bags for the um, the calendars to go into I didn't have enough thank you cards um, so like all the packaging supplies were just like not enough um, and then I always kind of order them like in a rush, and that's not exactly what I want. This isn't that bad. I just want a little refresh to my website. Hey, Rizugar. Hey, Rizugar. Hey, Rizugar. Hey, Rizugar. Hey, Rizugar. Hey,
Hello friends, so today is um, Wednesday and I stopped packing a little bit earlier yesterday because I needed to go to the ceramic studio to pick up like a bunch of bisqueware. I have like seven things. Um, so yeah, I normally during these weeks, I just like to pack like crazy and finish it as soon as I can. But because my ceramic studio, um, basically I'm in a class right now and we get like two weeks to finish all of our work. Um, so this is the very last week to finish. Um, so I basically have to rapid glaze a bunch of stuff. We'll see how fast I glaze these. Um, I don't want to keep it, I want to keep it kind of simple. I don't want to go too crazy on them because also I realize the longer I spend on these pieces, um, the more expensive I have to charge for them as well, just because of all the labor that goes in. And also because this is like kind of an experimental batch, I'm going to use a new clear glaze. Um, I don't know how they're going to fire, so they could all just be completely ruined. So I don't want to like spend like two full days on it because it could just be, because they could basically just be all ruined. My studio is like, it's a really nice studio, but the thing is like, they always, I, I always feel like they lose my stuff. Like I'll remember like, okay, I'm going to go pick this specific piece up and then it'll never be there. So I'm like, did they lose it? Like what happened? Anyways. Anyways, so the first thing I picked up, this is with the gray clay. This is, I think, stony white. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think the pencil looks really cool. I just did a super quick design. I might do that for some of these bowls as well. Same as this. This is my gray clay that I just kind of wanted to get rid of. And I know the pencil looks good. So it's interesting. The This clear glaze fires really blue, but like the inside is kind of more warmer. I love the warm tone. I'm not a fan of the blue, but... Um, yeah, I think the, I love the grid pencil design. I think it looks really cool. And then on the edge, I did just did this very simple decorative moment. And then last, I got this bowl back. Um, I was working on this bowl in my last video. Um, as you can see, the blue, the black runs a tiny bit, um, but that's to be expected with underglaze. Um, and as you can see, like this is the actual color of the clay, right? I think I have to turn my ISO down a bit. So this is the actual color of the clay, but then the, the clear glaze fires it super blue. So I bought a different glaze and that is gonna be like, hopefully not blue. So I'm gonna put it on all of these new things and see how it fires. Um, on the inside, I put a little butterfly and it's still really cute. I still really like this bowl. So I fired my first porcelain thing. Um, actually, that's not true. I fired some little porcelain figurines. If you remember, I made some cats and some onigiri and it was a total bust. They do, they look, so bad i think the clear glaze just made the black run so much like you can't even see the face on the cat anymore it's super interesting so you can see how white the porcelain fires compared to something like this right like that's super different but you can see that i didn't wipe the glaze off on in this area you can see how blue um the clear glaze my studio offers is and the blue also darkens my underglaze so if you can see down here is where the glaze didn't cover, that is how vibrant I wanted my glaze to be. But the blue just like muddles it. Um, there's the crackle again, which I, I don't love. And I don't know if the camera's picking up. There's so many bubbles. Um, so yeah, it's this clear glaze called Super Clear that is sabotaging me. It is the firing as well because it's cone 10 reduction. I just think the kiln gets like so hot. Um, it's not really suitable for like the decorative work I want to do. But unfortunately, like my, that's the only option my studio gives for students. So like, I feel like I'm just at a standstill. I'm doing a lot of experimentation to kind of figure out how I can get this look I want with the limitations of the firing I have access to. I've been working on some of my porcelain pieces. I'm gonna, like I said, put the other clear glaze on it. And I did this cute cat moment. normal not everybody can do that i feel like it's a big privilege to be able to have time to game or even watch gaming content to begin with so yeah thanks for all of us to my friends to cozy bets and to shy and we also do it for uh did we do it for megan oh yeah yeah <laughs> megan is an incredible content creator here i saw you came back
to stretch my back. <laughs> okay, I'm finally done. I'm not in love with everything I glaze, but I also have this problem where I fixate so much on what to put on the piece, like how to decorate it with underglaze. And then, I don't know, it's just never really what I want. And I don't know, I feel like I'm still really figuring out my style. But yeah, it's like about finding that nice balance between like still having like that illustrated look, but not going overboard. Um, so I just did a little butterfly in the middle and then just did super basic. Like, I don't know, I feel like you would see this at like H Mart or something. Um, but yeah, I made this little froggy mug. We'll see how this fires, I'm kind of doubtful. This one. This one you can't really see very clearly. I tried doing some etching, but um, I find it's a lot easier to do that carving style when um, it's not when it's not bis fired. Like a little flower thing, and I did some underglaze pencil right there because I want to see how that looks. You saw me working on this one, this little strawberry cup. And these last two I just got lazy, so I just did a super simple underglaze decoration on the side. Butterfly moment. Um, yeah, I might dunk this actually. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So we've reached the final day of packing. I cannot believe I packed all these orders in four days. Um, I still have a couple uh, that are stragglers because of the pre-orders, but I still packed quite a bit and I'm very proud of myself. The final day I worked on the ceramic orders and I had so much fun packing them. I decided to pack the onigiris like this and just put them in a smaller jewelry box because they're quite a solid hunk of clay. I wasn't too worried about them breaking. Um, and it was just so nice to use all of my like sustainable packaging materials I got. All of the bubble wrap you'll see me using was reused, so it was really nice to be able to take this bubble wrap and put it to use again. Um, Fun fact, this bubble wrap is from when I moved in the summer and I remember saying like, maybe next year I will sell some ceramics and I'll keep that. And I actually did. So I'm proud of myself for keeping it. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely not an expert at packing ceramics yet. So I don't know if I want to do like a real tutorial yet. Um, but basically here, what I'm saying is like, I want it, I got a bigger box for this bowl because I don't want the edge of it to touch the side of the box because yeah, if there's any impact, it'll break. So I made sure to get like a large enough box um, so that would not happen. And I included a lot of padding. Um, for all of the domestic ones, I was pretty comfortable using mostly paper, um, but I did have one order going to Norway where I did use more plastic than usual. 
I just didn't want to risk it getting rained on and having the item breaking um, just because when there is a farther distance that it's traveling, it's more likely that it will encounter water or rain of some kind. Um, but for all the domestic orders, I used all of my nice sustainable stuff and it felt really nice to reuse things um, and not use a bunch of plastic. And yeah, I had a bunch of fun packing these ceramic orders. I think it's just a bit more physical and tactile than putting like the same old calendar into a mailer. Um, so yeah, <laughs> maybe in the future I'll do more of an instructional video when I have more experience. But for now, I'm just gonna keep on experimenting. There's no shake, so it should be good. This is also going out to Joe, by the way, Joe Stockdale, shout out. She got two things from me. So thank you so much, Joe. Apologies for all the peanuts and the paper. I just didn't want to risk anything breaking because it's going across the country. So this person ordered a cup as well as a calendar. So a lot of people got like um, a calendar as well as like, I don't know, an onigiri or something. And I just don't want to risk it, you know, and like ship like an onigiri with inside like a flat mailer. So I'm just going to be shipping ceramic orders and calendar orders separately. Um, and hope that, you know, the shipping, added shipping costs don't kind of like beat me in the butt, you know? I have like a little parcel. Alright, so you made it to the end of the video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, if you placed an order for my shop, thank you so much. I feel like this shop update was really, it really went above and beyond my expectations and it was a great way to finish off the year. I mean, look at all these orders. It was, they were all so heavy and um, Robert helped me bring them all to the post office. So I'm very grateful for him. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all of the support. You guys are amazing. Um, I'm really excited for next year. I have a lot of stuff I want to do. I want to try like tabling um, at like art markets. And I also want to continue selling ceramics, uh, maybe even make a zine. Like, there's a couple of things I want to do next year and I'm very excited to share it all with you. Um, another huge shout out to my patrons for supporting me so much. It's because of the support of my patrons that I get to keep my shop closed for long periods of time and work on new, exciting, fun things. Um, so yeah, if you ever want first dibs on any products or ceramics or stuff like that, being a patron is a really good idea. Um, my lowest tiers start at $2 and they go all the way up to 15 And yeah, you get a lot of fun perks. There's videos on there, so many podcasts, and there's like 19 podcasts on there right now. A bunch of digital downloads. Um, and yeah. All right, take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.